The idea of the existence of multiple gods is illogical at its core. There can only be one God. According to the Holy Quran, if other deities or gods existed other than Allah, the Glorious, the gods would compete to establish superior strength, leaving the heavens and the earth in ruins. If one of two gods willed an act to occur, then the other god would either be forced to submit to that will or oppose it. If the second god submits to the first god's will, then that would render the second god less than all-powerful and not at all omnipotent. In other words, not a god. God is all-powerful and can do anything he wills. If he opposes the will of the first god, then a conflict would arise between the two gods, creating chaos in the heavens and the earth. The universe would fall into a state of disorder, chaos and disarray. There can only be one omnipotent creator. Say, O Muhammad, if there had been with him other gods, as they say, then they would each have sought to the owner of the throne away. Quran 17.42 Islam is a monotheistic religion, a faith in which followers admit and recognize the existence of one supreme God and being, who is almighty, all-powerful, all-knowledgeable, all-loving. Islam stresses the existence of only one God, the same God of Prophet Adam, Noah, Abraham, Joseph, Moses, David, Solomon, Jesus, and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon them all. Islam demonstrates the fact, through the centuries, God has continued to bless humanity with holy prophets who came bearing the same general message. God is the only one to whom worship is due. He is the creator of all, the provider, the sustainer of everything. He is the supreme, the eternal. God has no father, nor mother, nor son, nor daughter, nor a partner, nor an equal. It is he who gives life and causes death. Say, he is Allah, who is one, Allah the eternal refuge. He neither begets nor is born nor is there to him any equivalent. Quran 1.12, 1-4 The word Allah is the Arabic name that connotes the Almighty God. Arabic speaking Jews and Christians use the same word to refer to God. If one pursues an Arabic translation of the Bible, one sees the word Allah referenced in place of the term God. However, Muslims, Christians, and Jews all hold different concepts of God. Muslims prefer to use the name Allah as opposed to the English word God because the name Allah cannot be made plural and is genderless. The perfect order and balance of our complex universe is a sign of God's oneness. The existence of the sun, the moon, the mountains, the orbits of the planets, the direction of the winds, the seasons of the year, the cycles of life and death, and this perfect world all point to the preeminence of one creator and are all signs posted for the benefit of those who believe, those who reflect, those who use their logic and ponder. Had there been within the heavens and earth gods besides Allah, they both would have been ruined. So exalted is Allah, Lord of the throne, above what they describe. Quran 21-22 Iman, faith, begins with the belief in Allah the Glorious, from which all other facets of faith spring. By contrast, the most severe sin in Islam is known as shirk, polytheism, which translates to the concept of ascribing a partner to Allah, believing and worshipping those other than Allah, ascribing the rights of Allah to someone or something other than Allah. The term also encompasses the attribution of divine qualities to any others besides Allah. Shirk is the only sin that God does not forgive if a person dies before repenting from its pure sheer evil. Shirk is considered the most severe sin in Islam and is regarded as the cardinal sin in the faith. Only God has the right to be worshipped or venerated. And it was already revealed to you and those before you that if you should associate anything with Allah, your work would surely become worthless and you would surely be among the losers. Quran 39.65 The idea of multiple gods is rejected in Islam as it is highlighted many times throughout the Quran. The Christian belief that Jesus is the son of God or God himself is an example of shirk. And the belief in the concept of the Trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit is a grave sin in Islam. They have certainly disbelieved who say Allah is the third of three and there is no God except one God. And if they do not desist from what they are saying, they will surely afflict the disbelievers among them a painful punishment. Quran 573 
worshipping and praising deities other than Allah, who have no power to benefit or harm, is an act of injustice committed against Allah, the Supreme Being who created this whole universe and gave life to you and me. Shirk is also an act of ingratitude and far worse stands as the root of evil that causes the greatest downfall of human dignity and status. He said, do you worship that which you yourselves carve while Allah created you and that which you do? Quran 3796 In the past, the act of worshipping multiple gods or gods other than Allah the Glorious often came in form of idol worship or perhaps the worship of gods taking the form of objects found in nature such as the sun, moon, and animals. This despite the fact that none of these beings have the power to benefit nor harm. O oh, mankind, a similitude has been presented, so listen to it carefully. Verily, those on whom you invoke besides Allah could not create even a fly, and if they have gathered together for that purpose, and if the fly snatches away a thing from them, they would not recover it from them. So weak are both the seeker and the sought. They have not appraised Allah with true appraisal. Indeed, Allah is powerful and exalted in might. Quran 22, 73-74 Whereas this is less common now, the culture of the modern world has replaced physical idols with other contemporary objects of worship, such as the love of obeying one's own desires, a weakness commonly expressed in constantly entertaining oneself consuming drugs or embracing the goal and love of acquiring material goods more than Allah. Those who commit this sin stop at nothing to follow their desires, even if it leads to the disobedience towards Allah. One becomes so consumed with these foul acts that they submit themselves totally to their lure to fulfill their desires. This person adopts their desires as their gods, acting only in accordance with their whims. God states, have you seen he who has taken as his God his own desire? And Allah has sent him astray due to knowledge. And he has set a seal upon his hearing and his heart and put over his vision a veil. So who will guide him after Allah? Then will you not be reminded? Quran 45, 23. Our Prophet narrated, whoever guides another to a good deed will get a reward similar to the one who performs it. So please like, subscribe, and share this video. Assalamu alaikum.